Good afternoon, students and staff. Welcome to Fitz News. I'm Jay Hunt, and today is Wednesday, May 11th, and let's begin today's show. My name is Good afternoon. My name is Kofi, and we are, here, we are here with your important school information. Join Swag on Tuesday, May 17th in the cafeteria and courtyard for an ice cream social. Enjoy ice cream, music, games, and friendship. The event starts at 2.45 and runs to 4 o'clock. All you need to attend is your ID and a dollar. We hope to see you there. Trial dates for fall cheer are June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd in the August gym, beginning at 6 and ending at 8. Participants must arrive 15 minutes early at 5.45 to sign in and roll out gym mats. Gym attire and tennis shoes are required. Attention students, applications for next year's student government are now open. All current 9th, 10th, and 11th graders, please see Mr. Michael and B216 for an application packet. Positions are open for all class officer and representative positions. Student government has an important voice in planning school events, working with administrations on new initiatives, and helps to build valuable leadership skills. All applications are due back to Mr. Michael by Monday, May 16th, by 2.45 p.m. NHS members, our next meeting is Monday, May 16th. We will be voting for our next year's officers. You must be present at the meeting in order to vote. C2 Pipeline Summer Camps will be back on WSU campus this year. Camps are free of charge to all students that register with C2 Pipeline. Transportation from Fitzgerald to Wayne State and food is provided. Come see Ms. Abby and D140 for more information on our grant camp, camp offerings. Just in time for Spirit Week, the Spartan Shop will be having a 40% off sale on all of its clothing and gear. This sale will begin Monday, May 9th and continue through Friday, May 13th. So come grab some Fitz gear and be ready for our last Spirit Week of the year. Limited sizes and quantities available while supplies last. Are you ready for some basketball? The staff will be taking on the seniors in the student versus staff basketball game on Thursday, May 19th. The game will take place after school and begin at 3 p.m. Admission is only $2.00. Are the seniors ready for the test or will the staff teach them a lesson? Come find out Thursday, May 19th. Have you ever wanted to have a henna? Well, there's your chance. The Multicultural Club is hosting their annual henna fundraiser on Tuesday, May 24th. Designs range from $3 to $10. So if you could, would like to participate, see Ms. Van Gorder for a permission slip in C231. We hope to see you there. Speaking of the henna tattoo fundraiser, the Multicultural Club is looking for more talented fit students to help with the henna. If you have some experience and are looking for community service hours, please see Ms. Van Gorder for more details. Attention seniors, the last day to purchase senior graduation yard signs is Monday, May 16th at the end of the day. Please see Mr. Michael in B216 for an order from yard signs are $10 and will be personalized with seniors' names on them. Again, this is the last chance to purchase a yard sign. Attention male soccer players. There will be a soccer meeting on Tuesday, May 17th after school in the cafeteria. We will be discussing summer soccer workouts and fall team participation. And speaking of sports, let's check in with Fitz News reporter Renaya, who is standing by with Leland to talk about the baseball team. Renaya? Hello, guys. My name is Renaya, and I'm sitting here with Leland about the boys' baseball team. So tell me, Leland, how was the season so far? Uh, I thank you for this opportunity for interviewing me today about the baseball season. Uh, our baseball season is going really well right now. Uh, we played Hazel Park a couple days ago. We beat them 9-4. to four. We, we had a little team errors that we had to fix up yesterday at practice, but so far the team's doing well. So, what's the team goals? The team goal is to win the conference this season. Uh, we have a real high expectation for us this year as we won districts last year. We think that we can win the conference because our team is built around family, our main thing we say at the end of practice when we break down is family. So that's all we, get, that's all we care about. So what's the team bonding like? The team bonding, I would say for our team is we're trying to set one goal. We help each other. We're more like a family than anything. Like my dad passed away last year, and I didn't tell the team until after the game, and we just came together as a family. So we're really close to each other. If one, fa if one, team, if one person goes down, the whole team goes down. we kind of like just big, giant family around here. That's good. That was, well, that's really good team bonding. Well, thank you, Leland, for talking to us today, and bet you guys in the studio. Thanks, Renaya, and good luck to the baseball team. Well, that's it for this episode of Fitz News. See you later.